Hello everyone, I am Urtshir Kestani and today we are going to talk about wood fossils and I will also show you some of the interesting petrified wood from the Suleiman mountains. So stick around. Imagine what happens when a tree falls in the forest. First of all, it may die and after which insects may attack it and it starts to decompose, decay and rot. And the animals may come and tear it apart in the search of insects. And slowly slowly what happens is the tree will disappear. Imagine another case when a tree falls in the forest and instead of decaying or decomposition the tree may get under the sediment due to flood or any other weather conditions and all of the oxygen may get cut from the tree trunk. So what happens is the tree will get buried under the ground and it may have no connection with oxygen and tree may not decompose in this situation. So what will happen to the tree? So the water that is present inside the sediment or the soil underground will start penetrating inside the pores of the wood. So the minerals which are present in the water will start replacing the wood over the passage of time. So that kind of wood is turned into the form of a stone and that is called fossilized wood or petrified wood. So today the specimens that I will show you are found in the Suleiman mountain in Baloch tribal area Deir Ghazi Khan in Pakistan. So now I am going to show you one of the interesting piece of the petrified wood. So by looking at this kind of piece, you can see the texture of the wood is precisely preserved on it. And uh, however, when you look at it, it weighs much more than its weight. And by touching it to some material, you can feel the feel of a stone. So this is how you distinguish a petrified wood and a normal wood. So how can you know the age of any petrified wood or what species of the tree this wood belong to? So the scientists usually cut this kind of wood from its cross section and then they polish its surface to look into details of its cross section. Does it have rings and what kind of ring does this kind of wood have? So by looking at that kind of details, they can distinguish one wood from another and they can tell that which wood belongs to which species of the tree and during what time it used to exist on the ground. So this piece of the wood, I tried to get it identified from a paleontologist and by looking at it like that, he told me that it looks like the piece of cedar. So you can say that the cedar tree were present in Suleiman mountain in past and now I am going to show you one of the most best piece of the petrified wood that I have and uh, you can look at its structure that uh, how well preserved it is and from its cross section you can see that there are kind of white dots and by looking at these white dots you can say that at this place this was about to become decomposed but as it was being decomposed it had been replaced by the minerals so all of it is replaced by mineral now and it is a very beautiful piece so you can also look at some of the minute details that had also been preserved on it that there are some kind of holes around which the wood had been curved and you can say that at some time maybe some of some sort of little branch were originating from these holes. As far as the identification of this piece is concerned, it belongs to Timskaya tree, which used to exist in that particular region around 65 to 250 million years ago. So this tree became extinct during the late Cretaceous period. And we also know that this kind of tree used to exist in sort of tropical region. So by all information, 
We can infer that during Cretaceous period, between 65 to 250 million years ago, the region of the Baloch tribal area Der Aghazi Khan at Suleiman Mountains were kind of tropical place. So that's enough for today and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button so that you can watch more informative videos like this in the future. Thank you.